Hi everybody! Today I want to show you how to make these cute owl decorations. I love owls and I wanted to come up with a decoration that was simple and inexpensive to make. And this right here super inexpensive because I already had the pine cones all you have to do is collect them and the rest of the stuff was just scrap materials I had sitting around the house I will put a link down below so you can check out our video and how I prep my pine cones for crafts okay now let me show you how easy this is to make let's get started you will need pruning shears pine cones scissors foam or colored paper, cardboard, a hot glue gun, twigs, and twine. The first thing I do is cut out pieces of cardboard to the shape and size I want my owl to be. I have two different size owls that I made. This one's a little smaller than this one. And actually, you could even make them even smaller. One of them has a pear shaped, and the other one is more like an egg shape. Um, my husband likes the egg shaped a lot better, but you can make it however you want it and the size that you want it. If you're hanging it on the Christmas tree, you're probably going to want to make it even smaller than this. It's probably about the size of my hand. The fun thing about this project is, is you could change it up into many different ways and they're still going to look cute no matter how you do it because they're just daggum adorable. <laughs> After the cardboard is cut, I cut out the large circles for the owl's eyes. You can use whatever materials you have for this as long as the color is similar to your twine. We will be covering this part of the eyes with twine. I use scrap pieces of foam for the center part of the eyes, but you can use whatever materials you have as long as it is black. The next thing I do is separate the petals off of my pine cone and put them in a cup so that they are ready to use. I use small twig pieces for the owl's tail. I cut them with my pruning shears to the length I want my tail to be. I lay my twig pieces out on the table like this so that they are easy to pick up while I am gluing. I glue small sections at a time so that the glue does not dry before I have a chance to place my twigs on the cardboard. Here is the finished tail. Now I get my pine cone petals and I glue them on one at a time in a row, starting at the bottom. I start gluing them over top of the top of the tail, like this. I overlap each row all the way up to where I will be putting the eyes. When I get to the head, I place the petals around the top of the head and around the edges. The eyes will cover the center section of the head, so don't worry too much about how it looks right now. I make sure I set the petals a little higher on each side of his head to give him feather tufts. Now I carefully roll my twine into a circle like this. When it is big enough to cover the large part of the eye, I stop rolling. I get my hot glue gun and I glue the center of the large part of the eye. Now I press the wrapped twine onto the eye piece like this. I cut the twine and secure the end with a dab of glue. I do these same exact steps with the other eye. I lay the eyes on the owl so I can determine where I want to put the owl's beak. I use an upside down pine cone petal for the beak, then I glue it on. 
The next step is to glue the large part of the eyes onto the owl. Now it is time to glue the small black part of the eyes in the center of the large eye circles. The last thing I do is cut a small piece of twine, I loop it, and then I glue it on the back so I could hang it up. Now my owl is done and it looks oh so adorable. Don't miss some of our other videos on how we made some Christmas ornaments. Here is a cute idea. These are snowmen. One is made out of the bottle caps and this is made out of the water jug lids. And they both turned out really cute and they're fun and easy to make. This is super fun for the kids. They are going to love making melted Christmas ornaments. They're so much fun. <laughs> my daughter and I had a blast and my boys absolutely love this easy uh, ornament to make. So go check that one out. Last year we made little winter hats to hang on the Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. This is a big hit and I know that the kids absolutely love making these. They don't even need any help from the parents. So <laughs> you can keep your kids busy for hours doing this. Here's another one. This is one that I made up last year. Simple, easy, and you have all the materials sitting around your house. I'm going to leave the links to them down below in the description box. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my owl decoration today. I would love to hear from you if you give it a try. You can contact me through Facebook or you could leave a message in the comment section down below. And if you would love to share one of your ornaments with us, I will post your picture if you send it to me on Facebook so that everybody can see your ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Check out this funny clip of Dylan and I having fun with slow motion.